Tragic death of a college football player on I-80 leads to calls for changes in the way the state regulates so-called party buses. Investigators now say 22-year-old Maury Lawrence was on such a bus just before his death early Sunday morning. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. I'm Jennifer Griswold. The bus stopped at a truck stop at Northwest 48th and West O in Lincoln. But Lawrence was not on it when it arrived back at Nebraska Wesleyan. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kim Foley is live in the News Center. Kim? Jen and Craig, the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office believes Lawrence was trying to get back to campus when he was hit on I-80. Party buses operate under limousine statutes, which means passengers can drink on them. And this tragedy is renewing calls for more regulations. 22-year-old Maury Lawrence hit the town Saturday night on a party bus surrounded by his friends, but he never made it home. Smart guy, worked hard, driven, really enjoyed what he did. I always remember that. He always, would always say, I just I love what I'm doing right now. The sheriff's office believes the Nebraska Wesleyan football player was mistakenly left at a truck stop and was trying to get back home when he was hit and killed on Interstate 80. Party Bus Express Nebraska wasn't driving the group Maury Lawrence was with Saturday night, and owner Joe Bisgard did not want to go on camera. But he did share his rental agreement and told us that the person who rents the bus is in charge and responsible for everyone. Bisgard said they encourage a buddy system with their groups. People do join the bus and get left behind when there are multiple stops during the course of a night. But if a driver is aware someone didn't make it back on, they will go back and get them. This is a wake-up call for the rest of the state to have stricter, stricter regulations with party buses. The Nebraska Liquor Control Commission says they've tried to regulate this business in the past. This is up to the legislature to uh, put them under some very strict regulations if they're going to help people around and do what they call pub crawls. After learning about the party bus rental, Nebraska Wesleyan president released this statement. It said in part, we are concerned and disappointed about what we have learned. As the investigation continues, we will apply Nebraska Wesleyan standards of conduct as we would in any case. The State Liquor Control Commission says it plans to propose a bill regarding stricter guidelines for party buses, such as more training and a code of accountability for drivers in the next session. The semi that hit Lawrence still hasn't been found. In the News Center, Kim Foley, KMTV Action 3 News.